My name's Glenn Pyle. I'm the sales manager for Midland Genetics. We're here today at the 2017 Midland uh, Field Day event, and we're going to talk about the soybean varieties we've got in the testing here. This is our Roundup Ready 2 plot, 3465 soybean variety, uh, medium tall. It's a very bushy type plant, uh, very versatile, handles a lot of different soil types. It's got good sudden death to it, very good shatter score. I wouldn't be afraid to put this bean in, in my tougher soil and also in my better type soil. So very versatile type bean. Okay, so now we're moving on down to the 3.6 maturity beans. Uh, okay. We've got a 3633 cyst nematode resistant bean also. This bean, again, is very versatile. We plant this thing uh, in the Caw Valley under irrigation. We plant it on some pretty tough hill ground. It seems to handle a lot of different variable type soil. It's got a very good agronomy package to it. It's got a very good shatter score, uh, score to it. We call this one of our must plants. Uh, if you're planting a 3.6 maturity on your farm, the 3633 is the bean to have. Uh, very versatile. Uh, handles a lot of different types. So 3657 is a new one. Uh, last year we brought into the lineup. Uh, we're always testing to see if we can find a variety that will outdo the ones that we think that are best, uh, that are proven to be the best. So with this 3657, we brought it into the lineup because it has a kind of a unique skill set. It goes in bottom ground, good dirt, under a pivot. It's got a little more yield punch to it. Probably another two to three bushel better than the 3633s. Standability is really good um, and a little better agronomic package overall. 3926 is, is kind of the same thing uh, as we just talked about the 3633s and the 39, uh, 3657s being different in placement. The 3926 and the 3983 are similar. Um, the 3926 we want to keep in the better soil, irrigated type situations. It also has a little better agronomy package and it has a little more yield kick to it. So in that two to three bushel better on the irrigated stuff. 3983, uh, here again, one of our must plants. If you're planting a 3.9 bean, this has to be in your lineup. Very versatile type plant. It uh, handles a lot of different soil types. It handles a little stressier type soil than the 3926. But overall, I mean, it's got everything you need in a soybean. It, it's one of our leaders. It's one of our best sellers. 4373s. Um, if 3983 is not our best seller, this one is. Very comparable. 4373 handles a ton of stress. It's a medium tall plant. It's got a very good agronomy package to it. Shatter score is excellent. We seem to have really good luck with it in the good dirt. It really pushes the yield, but it also holds the height and the yield in, the, in that tougher type soil. So another one of our must plants in that 4.3 maturity, just not a better bean out there. We do have a couple varieties that we do not have here on site. The 2557 medium height plant, it topped the breeder test last year. So we pulled it into the lineup. It, it looks extremely good this year in our strip test. And uh, got very good uh, natural cyst nematode control and uh, excellent standability and, and seems to handle a fair amount of stress. We, when we put these strip tests out, you know, we're, we put them on hill ground on really tough soil and in the bottom ground in really good soil. So we can kind of get a lot of variance and really tell us what that soybean is doing and, and what kind of condition it'll handle. 3237, another new one to the lineup. Top the yields, uh, state test and Midland test in the states uh, last year. Uh, very good sudden death tolerance and very good standability. The one thing you've noticed you notice about this being when it's emerging, it emerges very fast. It kind of explodes out of the ground, which a lot of times you just don't see out of a bean. This thing will be out of the ground in two, three days. Uh, emergence is really good on it. 4797. You might notice in the sign there, uh, it's cyst nematode resistant, and it's also got the STS with it. So it's a double stacked variety. This gives you the capability of using synchrony, classic, the finesse, uh, behind wheat, that kind of thing. So the placement on this bean, uh, it'll handle a lot of different soil type. What I like to do, 
is put the 4797 in my better dirt. Standability is better on it than it, that it is the 4963 next to it. So put this in your average to better type soil. It'll give you a lot more yield punch with that. So 4963, as we move south, this bean is just unbeatable. It topped the state test three years in a row. Uh, when we got it down into the boot hill of Missouri, it was topping the plots down there in the state test. We had a lot of interest in the Missouri side uh, for this soybean just because it was just kind of knocking it out of the park. Very good height, it's a medium tall plant. Probably gets a little rank down in the really good dirt. Um, standability kind of becomes an issue. Uh, it's if the water's there and you get a lot of growth on a lot planted early. So uh, I would keep this on my tougher average type soil. Um, you won't have any standability issues at that point. We've also got a 5286, which is a 5.2 5 maturity bean. Uh, this bean we use down south, uh, southern, southeast Kansas, southeast Missouri, and uh, does very well. It's a determinate type plant. We don't have it in the plot here today, but, uh, but does very well for us. So now we're gonna talk about the Roundup Ready to Extends. But with the 3258, medium plant height, works uh, very well in uh, average to better type soil. It's a 3.2 maturity, so when you get north of I-70, uh, really works better in that northeast Kansas, north central uh, Nebraska area. 3938, uh, this is uh, one of the beans that come out of the Extend lineup that, that I'm pretty excited about. It reminds me a lot of the 3983 on the Roundup Ready 2 side, but uh, it's got the same plant structure, uh, seems to handle the same type of conditions, a very versatile type plant. 4328, here again, topped the breeder test in uh, 2015 and 16 both. So it's a tall plant, very good standability, wide plant, it fills the rows in very quickly. Uh, so 30 inch rows is, it'll accommodate those really nicely. Uh, if you put it in narrow rows, it'll just get a little taller, but standability is good, so you shouldn't have any issue there. So we're gonna talk about 4677. Uh, you might notice in the sign, it's got NXS. It is a double stacked hybrid. It's got the cis nematode, it's got the extend trait in it, and also has the STS trait in it. Uh, the 4677, I would place this variety in my tougher type soil. It gets pretty tall. Standability is good on it, but, but I think it could lodge on you just a little bit in that really good dirt or irrigated type situations. So I would, I would keep it in that little tougher type soil, average to, to lower type soil uh, potential. Talking about the 4956 here now, it is also double stacked. It's got the STS with it, along with the cyst nematode. Again, a very good variety, it handles a lot of different soil types. As we move south, it'll handle good dirt or, or the poorer dirt. Um, very versatile type plant. Uh, like I say, you can see here, it's very tall, kind of a bushy type plant, fills the rows in really nicely for that longer maturity for the guys from here south. So we've got about three varieties in this extend plot that we don't have in this plot. We've got a 2.8 maturity, and here again, central to Kansas, in that Belleville North area across the state line into Nebraska. Um, this 2.8 come off a breeder recommendation, so we'll know a lot more about it when when these strip tests come out. We've got a ton of testing out uh, with this variety in it. So we think it's gonna handle a, a fair amount of stress, but we'll, we'll know more, like I say, at the end of harvest. A 317 uh, variety. Uh, it's a tall plant, very good standability, excellent uh, sudden death tolerance, and uh, excellent for dry land conditions in Nebraska. So this is probably one you wanna don't, don't wanna put under irrigation. Uh, it's a dry land bean. It gets pretty tall for a shorter maturity, and uh, so that's how I'd place that. So we've got a uh, also got a 3537 medium tall plant. It's a wide plant, fills the row in very good, very quickly. The one thing I would caution on this one is also it handles a lot of stress. It's a taller type bean. Uh, this year, uh, what we're seeing out of our strip test is with all the rain we've had in the, in the northern area, um, we're seeing that being lodged just a little bit. So our recommendation is to keep that in some average to poor type soil. Um, it's more of a stress package. 
so handles uh, that way better than, than the, the better dirt. I want to thank everybody for taking this tour with us. Um, if you have any questions about what we've talked about today in the tour, you can get a hold of me at 913-426-3439, or you can use my email, gpile at midlandgenetics.com. Thank you.